Here is a simple lab that you can do at home on the osmotic response of cells using four containers, salt water, and a potato. To begin, label your four beakers or containers as follows. A, B, C. Now, add approximately 40 milliliters of 0% salt solution, or just plain water, to be Add 40 milliliters of 1% salt solution to be Add 40 milliliters of 2% salt solution and 40 milliliters of 4% salt solution to beaker D. Now, cut the skin off the top and bottom. Use a cork borer to take out four core samples of the potato. Place an empty weigh boat or paper towel on a cooking scale. Make sure to hit tear to zero out the scale. Weigh each potato core separately. Don't forget to record your weight. Now, immerse the potato cores in the salt solutions for 30 minutes. After your 30 minutes is over, remove the cores and dry them using a paper towel. Now, you're going to weigh, weigh your cores again. Place an empty weigh boat or paper towel on your scale and hit tear to zero out your scale. Make sure to record the final weight of each potato core. You should find that the potato cores placed in the 4% solution, which is a hypertonic solution, has lost weight. The membrane of the plant cell has pulled away from the cell wall due to water loss by osmosis. You should also notice a similar effect in the 2% solution, but probably not as much of a water loss as was observed in the higher salt concentration. In a hypertonic solution, the salt concentration is higher on the outside of the cell than it is inside of the cell. Water will then flow out of the cell. The cell will shrivel up and shrink. This process is also known as creaming. In a hypertonic solution, the salt concentration is higher on the outside of the cell than it is on the inside of the cell, causing water to flow out of the cell, which will cause it to shrivel up and shrink. We see here though in a plant cell, the cell wall maintains the shape of the cell, but we see that the cell membrane of the plant cell has pulled away from the cell wall. In an isotonic solution, the salt concentration would be the same outside the cell as it is inside. Since the concentrations are the same, there will be no net flow of water flowing into or out of the cell. The cell is said to be osmotically balanced. There is no change to the shape of the cell. Here we see an animal cell in an isotonic solution. Similarly, this cell is osmotically balanced and there's no change to its shape and the cell is happy. You should find that the potato cores placed in the 1% solution, which is an isotonic solution, has not changed their weight. They should appear normal Let's now look at a plant cell in a hypotonic solution. In a hypotonic solution, the salt concentration would be lower on the outside of the cell than inside of the cell. A great example of hypotonic solution would be water, since it is 0% salt. Water will then flow into the cell. The cell can become inflated because water because the water outside the cell is at a higher concentration than water inside the cell as water moves in by osmosis, the cell membrane presses outwardly against the cell wall.
you should find that the potato cores placed in 0% solution have gained weight by taking on water through osmosis. You should be able to see that the cell membrane is firmly pressed up against the cell wall. Plant cells have a cell wall that protects them from bursting under osmotic pressure. Keep in mind that animal cells do not... In an animal cell that is placed in a hypotonic solution, water will then flow into the cell, causing it to swell, bloat, and even burst. 